Hello again everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at KNF concepts variable ND filter. Uh, but before we actually talk about the filter, I want you to take a look at the footage that you see on the screen right now. Uh, the one to the right and the one to the left and I want you to tell me which one you like the most. Obviously one is with the ND filter respecting the 180 degree rule and the other one is without the ND filter and the shutter speed is at around 2000, uh, 1 over 2000 of a second. Uh, so let me know in the comments which one you like the best and I will reveal the answer in a minute. Well, as you can see on the screen, the footage to the left is the one without the ND filter and the one to the right is the one with the ND filter. Could you tell the difference? I honestly could not. Uh, both footages are shot with the same color profile on the Fujifilm X-T30 which is the Turner in this case and basically the goal of this video is to see whether the ND filter affects the color input on the camera once it's on. So we will try to compare multiple footages using multiple uh, color profiles on the Fujifilm X-T30 and we will try to see whether uh, there is a difference between the raw input without the ND filter and the input with the ND filter. And we already can see some difference in the Velvia color profile, maybe because of its high saturation in comparison to the Eterna uh, color profile on the Fujifilm. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, footage to the right is a little bit less saturated than the footage to the left, which is pretty much expected when using an ND filter. But to my eyes, the colors are not very much affected because you can always bump up the saturation a bit to bring back the colors. And as you can see here, uh, they look very much similar and I don't really think it's a, a very problematic change in the colors. And here we can have a quick look at the RGB histograms of the two footages before and after color grading. As you can see the discrepancy is not a lot and it is really not very much noticed. But I will let you be the judge of that with the other footages that I will put up on this video. And please let me know in the comments which one you like the most and whether will you be investing in this ND filter or not. I remember when I was about to buy this filter, I looked up some reviews for it on YouTube and most of them were in German and most importantly no review really tested the way I wanted to test this filter i.e. seeing whether it changes the color or not because I watched many other reviews about other ND filters on YouTube and I learned that some uh, ND filters change the white balance or change the color saturation and these are the, usually the very cheap ones so I was kind of worried that I would buy this cheap anti filter and not get the results that I am looking for so again I took a gamble because I was on a budget at the time I still am and I bought this uh, filter and then I tested it and I was very very glad with the results that I got from it so does it get the job done of course it does perfectly so not really it is a very budget ND filter so you will get what you're paying for and in my opinion for the value for the money that you're paying I think it's a very very good filter and I highly recommend it thank you so much for watching uh, if you like this review please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or any comments please leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible